Okay, so sometimes when we're doing Pythagoras, um, you've got to do a little problem solving before you actually can use the basic formula. Diagrams can be complex or need a couple of thought process to get you to the part that you actually need. So if we look at this first one, I want you to find x. I've got this wonky shape. Um, as a hint, I want you to use Pythagoras, so you should probably be looking for a right angle triangle. And if you imagine drawing in that line there, you can see a right angle triangle. So since this is kind of like a square here, if this length here is 3, I know that this length over here should also be 3. And the next thing for me to figure out is that from end to end is 10, and just this part here is only 4, so if I need to go a total of 10 all the way over, how much is left? If I've already used up 4 for that section, I need 6 over here. So I end up with a right angle triangle, which you can redraw if you want with 3, 6, and x. Again, because the top part of that is 4, if I imagine dropping that down onto here, this much is 4, I need 6 more to get a total of 10, that's why 6 is on the bottom, and that's got a height of 3, so this triangle should also have a height of 3. Next thing I'm going to notice is that I'm looking for either the long side or the short side, and in this case I'm looking for the long side, the hypotenuse. So I'm going to say x is equal to, and I can label these, Long side is C, then I have A and B, so I'm going to use my formula, write out my formula for you. For the long side, C is equal to the square root of bracket A squared plus B squared. The long side, you add them when you've got them squared. So in this case, X is equal to square root of bracket 3 squared plus 6 squared. So X is equal to, when you plug it into your calculator, you should get... 6.7, roughly, if you round it. So, that's my answer for this one. Again, looking for the right angle triangle in there, so I'm going to imagine that being a line that I can put in so that I can get my right angle triangle, and using the rest of the diagram to piece together the missing bits. The next example over here is a bit complex, and if you look at it, you might see lots of right angle triangles, and in fact, there's two. There's this bottom one here, and this top one here. And I want you to find x. So we're looking for this. But how do I get x? Let's see if I have enough information for Pythagoras yet. So remember, for Pythagoras, I need two sides. C is the long side for this. I might color it in so you can see that, for that yellow triangle. So C is the long side for the yellow triangle. I have 6, which could be a short side A but I don't actually have any information yet for the short side B. And that's a problem, so I don't have enough for Pythagoras. So what I might try to do is look at the other triangle. This one down here, I actually have one short side and another short side. So this one over here, that could be the long side. What if I solve for this bit first? If I solve for that length first, I can then use it for the next triangle. So C, in this case, C is equal to, it's the long side of this little triangle, so I'm going to use the short side, A and B, and say 5 squared plus 8 squared with brackets, and that's going to give me the long side. So if I plug that into the calculator, you should get an answer of four point, sorry, 9.43. So, I now know that this little bit in here is 9.43 long. Now if I use Pythagoras a second time for the yellow triangle, I should be able to get x, where 6 is my short side a, b with 9.43 is my short side for the yellow one, and x is the long side that I'm looking for. So x is going to be equal to, again it's a long side, so I'm going to add them up, 6 squared plus 9.43 squared bracket, put it into your calculator, and that one is equal to 37.21. So here again in this problem, I didn't have enough information to solve for x directly. I needed to figure out what bit of information I could solve for that would help me get there, and that was looking at the bottom triangle first, recognizing that I could find the hypotenuse using 8 and 5 to get 9.43, and then now I've got enough information on the yellow triangle to find the hypotenuse of that one as x. 
and you end up getting thirty seven point two.